Hello, I am Bookface. In this video, I want to talk about something different than the other stuff. Well, most of my other stuff has been about supernatural, like zombies, or cyclops, or foxes. This time, I want to go more science fiction. That's right, we're talking about... Aliens. While most people think aliens is more of a weird conspiracy theory, there's actually a lot of science behind it. In fact, many scientists actually believe there is life out in the universe. There are several known inhabitable planets. And it's not too far to think, not too far, not too far of a stretch to think that there might be life on those planets. The issue comes when you suggest there might be intelligent life, especially life intelligent enough to come to Earth and probe us. Probing questions, I mean, of course. This is a family friendly, family friendly video. So I'm here to talk to you about the very plain, normal, scientific explanation for what aliens could possibly be. Nah, I'm here to talk to you about the weird psycho stuff. So when it comes to alien sightings, there's sightings of UFOs, usually like flying saucers. But other sightings have actual beings, like actual physical creatures. Aliens. Just showing up. And probing you. <laughs> with questions! With questions! Of course. The most famous form of alien is the very basic one. The gray. It's so basic that its name is literally just because it's gray. Grays have huge bulbous heads and big almond-shaped black eyes. According to one study, or something, it's believed that 43% of all US alien sightings are of grays. I don't know what study that's from, but, uh, I mean, when we're talking about aliens, how reliable can you get? Some people also call them Zeta Reticulans, which I thought was weird. Apparently it's because of the Zeta Reticuli binary star system. A lot of science for one episode. Now that would be cool, except, how do you know they're from that one? Like, wh why, why does that one stick out to you? The most known and notable sightings for gray aliens is one of the Betty and Barney Hill abduction, one of the most famous and well-recorded abductions. I say well-recorded because that means you can look it up. And the Roswell incident, which I really don't think I should have to explain. But, you know, aliens. The next most known kind of alien is the reptilian, which also has names, also very cool names, like Reptoid, Saurian, and Draconian. Which sounds really cool, but also sounds a little too cool. Too cool for school. And the uh, reptilians are sort of a giant dumpster fire of alien research because they're they're nothing but conspiracy theory. Like I don't think they're like there are sightings of aliens that are slightly reptile but when it comes to, comes to when it comes to reptilian aliens they're mostly just for political conspiracy theories obama's an alien justin bieber's an alien you're an alien the major conspiracy theory with reptilians was what major conspiracy theory the major conspiracy theory around reptilians was created by david ike well that might be pronounced ick and I like that better, so I'm going to pronounce him David Ick. In David Ick's theory, he proposed that shape-shifting aliens would turn into powerful, powerful, powerful political figures to take over our governments. He also believes they're from a star system called Alpha Draconis, and they're taking over the world with secret underground bases. I... I'm, I'm just internally screaming through reading all of this. Why ick? Why? The last kind of aliens that you probably know are insectoids, which, shockingly enough, look like insects. While these creatures aren't highly reported in sightings, they are still one of the most commonly known kinds of aliens. Before 1990, there were almost no sightings of insectoid aliens, unless you count Mothman, but 
He's not really insectoid. He's just a mass. He's a unit. <laughs> he's a unit. An absolute unit. One notable sighting of insectoid aliens comes from Cincinnati in 1957, but it was reported after 1990, so it's still considered after 1990. This report talks of three-foot-tall praying mantis-like creatures appearing after a V-shaped UFO was seen. Ow. Gonna, gonna make a V-shape. And I, and I hit my book. Ow, my spine. Ayy. Even among the alien community, it's mostly believed that reptilian, not reptilians, but it's mostly believed that insectoids were mostly influenced by science fiction, science fiction, science fiction, science fiction works, which I don't really think surprises anyone. So, there are a few aliens. If you didn't believe in aliens before, you probably still don't. If you did believe in aliens before because you had a good scientific knowledge of the world, you probably don't anymore. But maybe you do. So, that's the end of the video. If you like the video, then please like it. Uh, comment and subscribe if you want to. And uh, if you have any other monsters or if you want to hear about more aliens, then put it down in the comments. I might plan a video out for that. And I'll see you in the next video.